At the Farm Progress Show, I am visiting here with uh, Chef Bags. We are in the Pioneer exhibit, and we're going to be talking about cooking with plenish. So I'm going to let you uh, go ahead, if you don't mind, and uh, tell us a bit about yourself, what you do. Let's get started there. All right. Well, again, my name is uh, Chef Charlie Bags, working with Pioneer, representing Pioneer, and showing the plenish pyolaic soybean oil. Fantastic, very versatile, great nutritional benefits, real neutral flavor, a lot of the key points, uh, and key uh, valuable assets that the consumer and the food service operator are looking for. So today I'm going to make you some caramelized onions with bell peppers and brats uh, Wonderful. for a nice lunch, uh, for a little bit of a salad. Sounds great. Side. Let's get started. Thank right, you. Let's get started. So we're going we're gonna to put some of the plenish IO Lake soybean oil in a pan, in each pan. Okay, you can see the pan starting to get hot there, so I'm going to slice the onions. And I know it sounds like we've got a whole crowd of hungry people out here just waiting for us to get done. <laughs> well, they're going to be jealous that you're eating and they're not. <laughs> So you want to cut these peppers and onions nice and thin. Okay, these go right into the hot oil. Mm -hmm. You gotta hear the sizzle. So you always, uh, the sea chefs do this. It's not just a nervous reaction. But you want to coat. You want to coat all your vegetables in oil. Starts the cooking process. And then the other pan here, we're going to put in our broths. We're going to let those start to cook. I'm going to switch these pans out here. And while we're doing that, we're going to start building your salad. So you can see that we have some beautiful greens that are going to complement the really neutral high oleic soybean oil that we're going to use in the vinaigrette. Let's go ahead and cut some of the tomatoes in half. It makes them a little bit easier to eat. This is going to be kind of a garnish in the salad. Then I'm going to show you a new way to cut a cucumber. Once you get it down, it makes it simpler. It's a way to take the skin off of the cucumber. Take the cucumber here, put your knife down like this, start cutting, and then you just roll the cucumber back. Now I would never have learned how to do that on my own. <laughs> then you just right down the middle. This is all going to go on the salad here. So I'm going to do another cucumber. Of course, it helps to have a nice sharp knife to do this, yes, right? This, this knife is extremely sharp. Oh, it's smelling great already. Yeah, it's going to be very... You're going to have a nice, flavorful lunch. Yeah. Always a benefit right. to have a sharp knife. So what is it, do you think, about this uh, plenish oil that makes it so, uh, such a great uh, one to use in cooking like you're doing? You know, it's an ingredient. Uh, what I like about it is it's very versatile in the kitchen. It can withstand the high temperatures of the different cooking processes. Like uh, right now, I'm sauteing. You can see that the bell peppers and onions in here, I have to get this pan really hot to caramelize those onions. Once they start to caramelize, add a little bit more flavor. I'm going to put some beer in here and let that. Well, now we're talking. I'm going to let that reduce, and this is going to make a really tasty caramelized onion. Mm -hmm. We're also going to put some uh, spicy mustard in there. Adding the beer and the spicy mustard, these just—they're really going to uh, help us create more of a complex flavor. And we're also going to add a little bit of rose, 
couple of sprigs of fresh rosemary. This is gonna this is gonna complement your broths really well. Wow. Okay, now to finish doing your salad, you can see I, I put on some rubber gloves. Well, we're going to be cooking about 150 of them, but not until later. Huh? All right, salad dressing. Right, so th this is a... I'm a diabetic. Don't put too much on there. Yeah, okay. So we're doing a little bit of a, a video here. Okay. And you want to you wanna add the dressing. Mm -hmm. You want to add the dressing and toss it. We don't want too much. Just the right amount. It is smelling great, I can tell you that much. I don't know if this, we can get that smell across on video, but... <laughs> you know, let's just go ahead and put those brats in there. Let those in. So now we're kind of just going to, we're going to coat these. Let's toss them all together. A little bit more beer. Is there ever a little bit in the pan, a little bit in the chef, or...? No, you know what? During working hours, we use it only for cooking, as you might imagine. I understand, I understand. I want to back out here while you're doing that and show that we've got the uh, bottles of Plenish uh, labeled here in the front of the display. Even comes in little smaller ones. Uh, if somebody just wants a sample. But we're doing demonstrations out here, or the chef, I should say, is. Uh, at different hours during the day here at the Farm Progress Show. But we just came over and uh, thought we'd find out how this is all done and and uh, do a taste test. So it looks like we're getting ready. The buns are coming out. <laughs> now we're going to heat the buns up. Oh, absolutely. It is great. I'm getting so hungry here. <laughs> I got, I got something right here for you Mm, this is going to be great. Yeah, we're going to have a real nice lunch for you here. Okay. Now I know something else to do with all that rosemary I've got growing out in my herb garden. Okay, so now we're going to put a little bit of the tossed salad on each one of these. I know what I'm doing when I get back from Farm Progress Show. Yeah, you're going to cut some rods with this high leg soybean oil. Absolutely. That's exactly what we're going to do back. Zimcom World Headquarters. We'll do our own uh, little cooking demonstration. <laughs> looks great. It's going to taste good. You'll see what I mean. The high leg soybean oil has such a nice neutral flavor. Yeah, hold that right up there. and uh, Here are my first cuts. Yep, and here's the first two that get to sample. All right. Well, I just want to thank Chef Charlie Baggs here. Uh, great job, and uh, 
I hope we get to see you back out here at another show. Absolutely. Well, here, this is for you. All right. Let me get a picture of that. And uh, here from Farm Progress Show, I'm Chuck Zimmerman.